In this video, we will see how to summarize quantitative data with Excel. So in Excel, each of the places where you can type values are called cells. So in the cell, you can type words, you can type numbers, or you can create formulas. So here, I wanna make this text a little larger so we can highlight it and change the size. We can also expand the columns based on the width of what's in it. So you just double click up at the very top. For any of our formulas, we want to type equals. This is an indication to Excel that we're about to create a formula. So if we're doing this by hand, to find our arithmetic mean, we want to add all of our values together. And these values represent the disposable income for 50 states and District of Columbia. And we close our parentheses behind sum, and then we divide by our total number of values. We also have a formula built into Excel, so we type our equal sign called average. And as you begin to type, it lists all of the formulas that it has, and it has descriptions for each of them. So with average, all we have to input is our data. And we can press enter. So what we see is that these values are the same, but their format is a little different. So this one, its format is general, and this one, the format is number. But if we increase our decimal, we can have the same exact value or decrease the decimal since we're talking about money here. You can also change the values to money. This notation means that the column is not wide enough to see the data. So just double click at the very top and you see that value. For median, we have equal median and you see the arguments, whatever numbers you wanna find the median of, that's what we're entering. And highlight our data again. We have our mode. And as you can see, you have quite a few different options for mode. Just make sure you read the description so that you pick the one that you are interested in. If you don't have a mode, you will see this notation. So you can do analysis by hand or Excel has a data analysis toolkit. If you don't see this under your data tab, you need to go to file, go down to options, go down to add-ins, and then if under inactive application add-ins, you see your analysis tool pack, at the very bottom, you would just click on Excel add-ins, press go, click your analysis tool pack, and press OK. So now under data, you should see your data analysis. And we want our descriptive statistics. Input range, where's our original data? From A2 to A52. The dollar signs here means that these values are fixed. It's not going to change. Our output range, where you can tell Excel where you want to see your results. You can put it on the new sheet. You can create an entire new workbook for it as well but make sure your summary statistics is selected. So we press OK and widen our column. And what you'll see is that we have the same exact values, just all in one step. Now we can also create histograms of our income. If we select data analysis and go down to histogram, input range, where is our data? Your bin is how your data is going to be grouped together. So we can create our bin, starting with zero and counting by 10,000. Now Excel, we love it because you can also copy formulas. Here you have a fill handle, this box in the bottom right hand corner. If we select it, you see our cursor changes you can just drag this down and it will copy your formula over, or your pattern rather, over. So that just saves you some time. So data analysis, histogram, okay. Our data is in A2, column A, row two, all the way up to column A, row 52. Our bin range, 
is from G13 to G9. Our output range, where do we want to see our results? You can put it anywhere on this sheet or a new worksheet. Just make sure that you select your chart output. And this is what we initially see. You have a summary box that pops up and it gives you your frequency of the values that fall in each of these particular ranges. You can also make your histogram larger by grabbing any of the edges. We can change the axis title just by clicking on it. You can delete those. You can change the titles. And with histograms, our bars should touch. Bar graphs with qualitative data, our bars should not touch. So if you right click on your bar and click on Format Data Series, change your gap width to zero. Now we can also change where these values are located. If our data is discrete, then we would have our values centered our bar is centered over these values. But since our data is talking about money, which we can't have decimals, then this is continuous. So we want these values to lie right on these bars. So what we wanna do is to right click on our axis and go to format axis. And we want our axis position on the tick marks. So here is our result in Excel for our histogram. 